traveler. Did you get a lunch? Oh, you wanted advice. Hmm, whatever for. Hmm, oh, you wanted me to do one of my tarot readings. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Go on, sit down. All right, let me get my cards ready. I have just the perfect tarot set. The cat's eye tarot. <laughs> It looks so charming and spooky. All right. First, I'm gonna knock the energy out of the cards. All right. As I shuffle, think of an answer that you need advice for. The cards will give you the answer. Universe already threw out a card. The Magician. And one more shuffle. like to pull out a moon magic card, a deep moon message. Oh, the moon card reads, I am open and responsive to the abundance of the universe. So keep that in mind as we do our tarot reading, traveler. I have out on this table here in front of us a five card spread, okay? Do you want me to explain exactly what we're doing? These cards are a guide from the universe. It's an answer to your question, at least. I hope it answers your question to the best of its ability. <laughs> so we're gonna read from left to right. Our first card is the magician. It is you as you are. Hmm, I'm getting a reading. So, you know, when the magician appears, anything is possible. You have the power to make something happen. Focus on your energy and concentrate on your objective, but be aware of your motivation. The magician represents a force of nature, which is morally ambiguous. <laughs> if you forget from whence you, all the power comes, well, then you'll find yourself spiraling out of control. <laughs> okay, our next card. Are you on the correct path? Well, we have the four of wands and traveler... That's a good card. It's actually a really happy card. A venture may have turned out better than expected. It also can indicate that you have found a companion who shares your enthusiasm. Isn't that great? What is the main obstacle? Hmm. Well, we got the Ace of Swords and it is a sign that there is mental clarity and that it is important to have such mental clarity. Use your head. Don't just react. Think it through. You can find the truth and it'll serve you well. If your mind is clear and you know that you are just, stand firm. What is helping me? Well, looks like the Hierophant. Hmm. When this card appears, some aspect of group identification or your role within the community needs to be considered. The Hierophant can represent the body of information that guides appropriate behavior within society. Our last card, how can progress be made? Well, we have the King of Swords, so you may find yourself in a situation that requires an ethical judgment. The temperament of this king is ideal in that kind of situation. An intellectual analysis and articulate explanation will serve much better than an emotional appeal. Well, traveler, you have quite the reading ahead of you. <laughs> I hope that it answers and helps you with how you need to proceed from things, at least for this week. You can always come back next week and I'll give you another reading. Oh, I do all types of readings. You see, I love doing 
well, readings about love and relationships. I like the yes and no answers, too. <laughs> it's all about the cards. Sometimes, when you look at the card, you just get the energy from it. Or you really just sense what the picture is telling you. That's why I really love this cat's eye tarot. I get different messages every time. <laughs> you have a lot of air energy in this reading. I don't know exactly what that means for you, Traveler, but maybe it has to do with something about a vision or somebody that you know that has an animal vision? Hmm. Well, perhaps you want to seek out their counsel. It never hurts to get a second opinion. But I'm glad you came to my funeral parlor just to see me, or at least get a reading from me. <laughs> Well, sometime you should come over for tea. That would be really great. Oh, I don't have any right now, actually. I have to brew some. Mm-hmm. But it's such short notice, Traveler. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's no biggie. Just next time. Well, maybe schedule an appointment, because actually, oh... I'm running five minutes late on my next appointment. Oh, what are we going to talk about this time? Oh, it's a client traveler. I have one client. Mm. Well, I must celebrate the life of somebody um, that just had recently gone. Traveler, I am so sorry to cut this meeting short. But please visit me some other time and we'll have tea. We'll even have a picnic. How does that sound? <laughs> okay. Toodaloo!